What's going on guys? I'm Alexandra Don and in this video I'm gonna take you behind the scenes on a music video. I know this is a little bit different because usually you see a lot of commercials here but from time to time I shoot music videos also. We're gonna go in depth behind the scenes. I'm gonna explain everything that I did in order to get the image and also before showing you the video I just want to tell you guys I wasn't the director of the music video nor I didn't edit it or color grade it. I only went there, did the lighting and filmed. So uh, let's check it out and talk more about it afterwards. guys I hope you enjoyed the video it was longer than expected since it's a music video it has to be around two to three minutes but hopefully you made it through and you enjoyed what you saw um, what I want to say is that now we're gonna go in the behind the scenes and we're gonna talk about a lot of crazy stuff also what I want to say is before we go into the behind the scenes I want you guys to subscribe to this channel maybe share it and I don't know let's make this channel crazy because I'm putting here a lot of work a lot of free trainings for you guys to get knowledge and just come with me behind the scenes and learn a lot of filmmaking tips therefore let's go behind the scenes and check it out 
All right, guys, so let's start off with the number one thing that we did when we got to this spot, and that was mounting our lights. And we used lights from Nanlite, which is one of my favorite brands in lighting. And more exactly, we used the Nanlite Forza 500 with the softbox, and we used this light as a key light. And our output was around 40-30% because this light is super, super bright. Next up, we used the Nanlite Mix Panel 150 and two Mix Panel 60. Those lights are really, really good. You can have a lot of effects on them. And uh, we used them on a different color temperature because we wanted to create color contrast. And you're gonna see in the images that um, it, it makes a really nice effect and really warm tone. One of the cool things about these lights is that they work with V-mount batteries and it's really nice to uh, work remotely with them because the batteries hold a lot, they are super efficient. But in our case, we had a power output, so we used that. Here you see me climbing um, a little bit higher because I had an idea to have a top light I wanted to have it from the middle of um, the set, but I couldn't mount it there. So um, you see me going a little bit on the right side of the set, mounting it up. The cool thing about the light that I put there, it's a Forza 60 and I had a V mount battery on with the projector on and the projector helped me a lot to have a higher uh, power output. Um, next up, you see me using a haze machine. This haze machine is very helpful to have, especially when you shoot something that's creative. It creates a lot of atmosphere and I think it gives up a really cinematic effect. Now you see me um, testing out the gimbal rig that I have. It's a DJI Ronin RS2 with the Sony a7S III and the Siri 24 anamorphic lens. And the cool thing about this setup was that it was super simple to film with it. Um, here you see me uh, trying to balance it as good as I can. And I actually had a wireless transmission on with me, but I used the um, transmission that comes with the DJI R Ronin RS2, which was pretty good. Here you see the director uh, talking with the band, making sure everything is fine. I'm doing more gimbal tests just to make sure that the lighting is fine and how everything looks and all that. One thing that you kind of see when I light is that I put all my lights from the side. There is no light in front of the band. And that is mainly because I don't like to light from the front. It's not cinematic. And I think side lighting and back lighting is, it is what makes an image cinematic and look uh, more 3D and stand out from the actual 2D space. Here you see me um, showing our director Doreen um, how the image looks, a few of the shots that I took and um, he gives more instructions to the band so we can start off shooting. Um, next up I am doing a little bit of test with my handheld rig which was the Sony FX6 with the Suri 35 anamorphic lens and my dwarf connection wireless system and I was just testing out to see exactly how the image looks on it and if everything is fine but after that we started shooting and you can see me doing really smooth shots the gimbal walk is there <laughs> i'm trying to walk as smooth as possible and we filmed on a gimbal because we wanted to have a little bit of a balance between handheld movements and uh smooth movements because the song has different kind of um a vibe like it has also a chill vibe and also a very hardcore vibe we wanted to like have uh, those two combine together and when the song is a little bit more chill we want to have a little bit of gimbal everything moves really slow and when there is a lot of action we wanted to have a lot of camera shake a lot of action a lot of movement and all that so um, even though the music um, sometimes was making me go faster the director was looking at the monitor and saying go slower go slower and all that so it was really helpful to have somebody that was watching without struggling actually to to make the shots really smooth but this is one of the things that i hate about gimbal is that you're not actually focusing on 
the image itself you're actually focusing to get like super stable shots and frame it and all that and you're not really looking at what's happening in the shot as you can see the footage is really stable the, the this gimbal is really nice i really like it you can see that Doreen was having a live view from my phone from the gimbal and he was able to check out the the framing and everything so that was really helpful he was giving instructions on like i said to go slower faster to move this or that direction so that was really nice also again gimbals oh my god i don't really like shooting on gimbals but it is what it is i have to do it good because it's a lot of requested but like i said when shooting on gimbals uh, it's really hard to feel the camera like whenever i shoot handheld i feel the camera and it the camera becomes part of my body somehow so i can express my my thoughts and my creativity better and now you see me filming handheld the way i like it and the way i want to film every day anytime uh, i think filming handheld is amazing and you can tr transmit exactly what you feel through the camera so as you can see the sony fx6 is amazing on handheld it's super smooth it looks very organic and um I wasn't trying to be as smooth as possible to be honest I, I was getting feedback from the client be more aggressive with the camera be more try to be a little bit more uh, shaky and all that and I was trying but the camera is really stable the Sony FX6 even though it doesn't have stabilization inside is really stable when filming handheld although I was trying to dance with the music not actually dancing but just trying to feel the music and trying to move the camera with the rhythm of the music and i think i kind of transponded that really nice if this is a word but i really love how the image looks actually those ones were shot with iron glass 58 millimeter lens which is a really beautiful lens one of my favorites right now even though it's uh, not anamorphic, we have the anamorphic bokeh on and it kind of has this anamorphic characteristics. And just look at how good the image looks, guys. Backlight and side light. We have a side light that is a different color from the backlight and it looks really good. We also have a top light that is lighting our um, actors' heads a little bit and it's making a lot of, not, a lot of separation on the image. So. Even though I didn't color grade it, I wish I, I did because uh, what you see right here are shots that were color graded with my own LUTs um, that you can find on my shop in the link below. <laughs> uh, but the image looks really awesome with my own LUTs. I'm so happy about the results. We're kind of getting a little bit into action. I'm kind of moving the camera a little bit more aggressively. I'm trying to feel the music more and more. And as you can see, it looks really nice. There's a lot of high energy going in. I really love how the image looks on this drummer. It is so nice. I mean, I'm, I'm enjoying watching the whole footage, even without editing. It, it looks so nice. And also I think the guy had a lot of energy. He was like moving his hair. It looked really nice. I was so inspired filming him. I, I got a few really nice angles and um, I really liked the whole thing, honestly. <laughs> it was it was a pleasure to film uh, something like this uh, and to feel the music and filming at the same time. It's, it's a nice, uh, nice feel. Also, check out the flare from the up top. It's so nice. It, it is well angelic i would say but anyway i think i think the whole lighting and uh, everything looks really good especially the colors um basically we kind of shot the whole music videos um like 10 times which was pretty fast and uh, like two times with the gimbal two times with the camera going freestyle and the other times were from uh, band player to band player and uh, that's how we kind of cover up everyone in the band and to be honest it was really fast and uh, it was really nice to film this whole band um, i also like the song it was it had a lot of energy and i think it turned out really really nice this was it guys i really hope you enjoyed it i really hope you got some uh, insights from this video and how we shot it i think um it turned out pretty cool and the image looks really nice. 
So thanks a lot for watching. Make sure to subscribe. Leave me a comment down below on what you want to see next on the channel. And uh, please let me know what you learned from this video. Until next time, peace out. Cheers.